My name is Viola. I work remotely and I spontaneously decided to book a one-way flight to Thailand. Enjoy following along as I explore the country solo whilst working full time. Good morning everyone. It is just gone. I think 10.30. I'm about to head out. I'm planning on just having a very chill, relaxed morning. I'm going to go to a nice cafe that has a very nice view of the, the sea and finally get the chance to just chill out and do some journaling, listen to some music. The first things first though, before I go there, it's about a 15 minute walk away. Um, I've got a bag of laundry that I'm gonna get done on the way I pass a laundrette. It's about, I think 50 baht per kilogram for washing and drying. So it's very cheap, I'm gonna go get that done. I need to get this done before I move on. It is a very beautiful day. Blue skies, if you can see, it's very sunny. So this is the place I'm heading to. I'm actually so lucky to have found it because it's very new and as you can see, its name is in Thai. I actually found this on Google Maps when I was looking at what cafes were in the area and within walking distance from my hotel. It was really highly rated and the drinks looked good, so I decided to go and have a look. Little did I know just how much I would love this cafe. It honestly became one of my favourite little places in Phuket. So this is where I am heading, up a steep road. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Catch me here. Guys, I am sweating, but I'm here. I would highly recommend here if you're in Phuket near Kata Beach. It is such a cool concept. I was speaking to the guy who served me. I was asking him what's the concept of the business because um, they've been <coughs> running now for a year. And he said it's a family run business because everyone the, everyone in the family came home during the pandemic and businesses were closing they thought okay let's start a new business um so they set this up and it's a really really cool concept it's really really peaceful and tranquil and it's in a beautiful setting so there's lots of different stations where you can just chill and relax and they also have camping which i had no idea about if i knew i would have come and camped here for a, for a night um as you can see the tents are, are down there there's one so someone must be camping and then i think they set up tents on these other platforms so like probably on one that i'm on here and then there's like look at that it's like a little place there to chill there's a bigger place up there to chill there's one up there to chill there's another one there to chill there's like hammock areas over there and then there's one over there, and then it's just beautiful. Like, it's so stunning. Because the moment you have a situation where you are really in control of things, that is to say, in which the future is almost completely predictable. They had a late cake delivery, but this is my breakfast. Um, I was just thinking, so I brought my laptop with me anyway to get some work done in a tranquil place, maybe get some editing done. And I thought, okay, I would love to stay here longer, as, you know, because I, I need a plug for my laptop. And stop, they have plugs. They actually have plugs. Do I stay here the whole day, even the work day? I they actually have plugs. Just stop it. Good news is that the plug works. Bad news is that it looks like it's about to rain. Look at those. Can you see those grey clouds? Oh, 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 I just felt a raindrop. I then got some late lunch and the food was so decently priced and was actually some of the best that I had in the Carter area. 
We all came up to the higher platforms to avoid the rain and I just continued getting on with some work. It is so unbelievably humid today. Like, I'm sweating so much. I'm hoping the aircon will kick in soon because, yeah, it's so hot. I think it's because it's not as sunny today. It's, um, you know, it's meant to be raining. Um, oh, yeah, I'm back in my room because it got quite busy at the cafe. It is 4.30, nearly 4.30 now, and I have some really long meetings. And there was a family behind me, and they had a child, and he was just watching videos on a phone, which was very noisy, so I just thought, I, I can't do my meetings here. Um, and also, I didn't want to be there when it starts getting dark. I didn't want to walk down that road alone. So I'm back. Gosh, after my meetings, I need to jump in the shower. I am so, so sweaty. But anyway, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's called... A blanket and a pillow. A blanket and a pillow. I would highly recommend if you're in the area. It's so cute, so sweet. I wish I'd known about it sooner. Had the most peaceful, tranquil morning in the hammock, just journaling and editing and just being away from my phone and social media. I've pretty much edited a whole vlog, which I didn't think I'd be able to get done because I'm really busy, but I'm glad that I did. Yeah, and the, the rest of the day really is just gonna be spent doing work. I'm glad it's a Friday, we've got a very early start tomorrow morning, so yeah, we're just gonna get the workday done today, and then it's finally the weekend.